Hey everyone, Jersey Mike. I've had a few requests from some subscribers on how to wire in these Takeo three wire zone valves, and that's exactly what I'm gonna get into today. I'm gonna to show you not just how to wire them, but I'm also gonna show you how these things work internally. And I'm gonna show you how to use your multimeter to test whether or not these valves are good or bad. And if they are bad, what exactly is wrong with them? Takeo numbers these terminals from top to bottom, one, two, and three. Terminal number one is your power source coming in from your transformer. So this is a 24 volt power head. We have a 120 to 24 volt step down transformer. It takes 120 and steps it down to 24. And that power is gonna come in on your number one terminal. Your number two terminal is like the common for that circuit. So your power is gonna come in from the transformer onto one, and it's gonna leave the zone valve on terminal number two to go back to your common on your transformer to complete the whole circuit. So these are internals of your zone valve. And as you can see, we have terminal one, terminal two, and terminal three. Now, right off of terminal one, we have this yellow wire here. It wraps around this coil and it comes out on this other yellow wire on the back side connects to that red wire and as you can see it goes right to terminal two so this is your complete circuit inside of here there's no switches there's nothing to turn this on and off so if you have power coming in on number one you should have it coming out in number two so what is the purpose of this circuit what does it actually do the answer is that it's a heating coil as your current from your 24 volts runs through this coil it heats up the cylinder and inside the cylinder there is a grease when that grease heats up it expands and it pushes this plunger down. So you can see on the back side here, this is your end switch right here. And when this coil heats up, pushes this plunger down, it comes up off of that end switch and your boiler turns on. When the coil cools down, the plunger goes back up, pushes that switch in and your boiler shuts off. Now your thermostat acts exactly like a light switch. It turns the circuit on and off, just like a light switch turns a light on and off. And just to prove it to you guys, I actually wired in a 24 volt light bulb up to a thermostat. And when I call for heat, turns the light on. When I stop calling for heat, the light goes out. So this is interrupting your 24 volt circuit. So what I'm gonna show you now is how I'd wire up this zone valve, only instead of a light bulb, we're gonna go right to our Takeo zone valve. We could send power directly from the transformer to the zone valve, but we don't wanna do that because we wanna actually be able to turn this valve on and off. So the power from our transformer is gonna go from our load terminal on this red wire straight up to the thermostat. Now this red wire from the thermostat is going to our R terminal. So when we connect these two wires together, we're gonna send the power from the transformer through this connection and right up to our R terminal on our thermostat. All right, so now that we have our 24 volts coming from our load terminal on our transformer, going through this connection and up to our R terminal on our thermostat. When the thermostat calls for heat, it's gonna close the connection internally between R and W and that's gonna send the 24 volts on your white wire from the W terminal back down to the other end of your thermostat wire. So our 24 volts that are coming back from the thermostat is gonna go right to our number one terminal on our zone valve. And this is how we have the power going into our zone valve, by using the thermostat as the on off switch to control that. So now that we have power coming into our zone valve on terminal number one, it gets sent back out to the common on the transformer through terminal number two. So we're gonna take the white wire coming from the common on the transformer and hook that up to terminal two. All right, so right now my thermostat's off and it's not calling for heat, which means the connection between the R and W terminal is broken. So when I take my meter and I check between terminal one and terminal two, I read zero volts. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to turn my thermostat up to call for heat. Here it click, and now we should have 24 volts between terminals one and two. And as you can see, we have 25 there, so we're good. So if you suspect there's something might be wrong with this and you wanna test the power circuit inside the power head, you would put your multimeter onto continuity. You would make sure your power is off, which I have off right now. And you just do a continuity test between terminals one and two. And as you can see, we have continuity there. So I know the circuit inside this valve is good. If you weren't reading something there, then there would be a problem. So this old internals here, I ripped this out of a zone valve because it wasn't working specifically for this purpose. When I test between terminals one and two on this, as you see, I have no continuity there. So the zone valve head was bad and it needed a new zone valve.
So now we're going to move on to the TNT circuit and you can see off of terminal two here, you have a black wire that goes to one side of your end switch and off of terminal three, you have another black wire that goes to the other side of your end switch right there. Now you might notice that off of the number two terminal, we have the red wire that completes our power circuit and the black wire that goes to our TNT circuit. You can think of this as like a mutual common wire for both circuits. So terminal two and terminal three is our TNT circuit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wire up our TNT wires two, two, and three. So that's how I wired it. I ran a wire from the number two terminal, brought it out here, hooked it up to my common from my transformer and one leg of TNT all together so it's not under one screw. All right, so here we have it. We have our power coming in on terminal one, our common coming off of two, to our common to the transformer, and one leg of our T, and our other T to our terminal number three. All right, so what I'm going to show you guys now is why you need a little bit of patience when you're trying to diagnose these things. These coils can take at least a minute, sometimes even longer, to heat up enough to actually expand and push that valve down to activate the end switch. So I have my meter hooked up, it's set up to continuity, I have a timer ready to go, and we're going to see how long this actually takes. So here we go, we're going to turn our thermostat up, call for heat, click, start our timer, and we'll see how long it's going to take. And there we have it. So between the time the thermostat called for heat and the time that our boiler fired up was about 45 seconds or so. So, I mean, if, if these things are a lot colder, it can take even longer than that. But you do need patience when you're trying to diagnose these things. It takes a little time. So if you waited long enough for your power head to heat up and you're still not getting continuity between terminals two and three, that can be an indication that there may be something wrong with your end switch. So if you hung around and watched the video this far in, congratulations, here's the final lesson. You're never going to have just one zone valve on a system. You're always going to have two or more. So the photo that you see here is how you might actually see it wired out there. So what we have here is our transformer wire coming in, and you can see where it's circled that the red wire carrying the 24 volts from the transformer's load terminal is wire nutted in with the red wires going up to each of the R terminals on your thermostat. So this transformer is sending 24 volts to both thermostats simultaneously. Now what you see here is each white wire coming back from each respective thermostat's W terminal and going directly into terminal number one on our zone valves, which is the 24 volt power supply for our power heads. And each thermostat has control of turning each zone valve on and off respectively. And what we have here are our common wires coming off of each respective zone valve's number two terminal. And that completes each power circuit for each zone valve. And you can see they connect to the common wire coming from the transformer, as well as one T wire coming off the TNT circuit. And finally, what we have here is our T wire coming in and combining with the T wire that goes to terminal three on our zone one valve and the T wire that goes to terminal three on our zone two valve. And so no matter which end switch engages, it's going to close the TNT circuit and our boiler will fire up. Now, you may not always see it wired exactly like this, but if you grasp the fundamentals in this video, you'll be able to figure it out no matter how it's wired because it all has to work the same way regardless of how it's wired. It still has to do the same thing.